I am certainly a star prize. I am one of the greatest prizes you could ever have. I am the champion. I saved my sister and... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to kill that fat witch. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we saved Tootie from Gruntilda, but we kind of missed uh, one big fat green thing on our way. She kind of just ran away and we endured the uh, ending credits. So in this episode, we're going to finally confront Gruntilda once and for all. Let's us go. See what we got. Oh, it's Dinkbot again. And we can always fast travel back down there. I don't think there's anything else up here. There is an extra life, but I didn't die. And right in this door is a 810 notes. Which I think is the minimum that you need to uh, beat the game. Your feathered buddy that you've brung, useless like a pile of dung. Also, my ear just went deaf for a second. Hold on. Ah! Oh god. Sometimes you get like a ringing in your ear and it just lasts for a while. Ugh, oh, god, I don't like it. Uncomfortable. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. Disgusting. And we're left off with six jiggies. So you only need 94 jiggies to complete the game. And 810 notes. I'm sad to say down there you'll stop. Because my safe... I'm safe here at the top. Yeah, sure you are. Not for long, Grunty. I wonder here if you can see the little change... Whoa! I could just walk up that? Okay, I did not expect and think I could walk up that. That's weird. Take a look around. That's the little machine. Whoa! This guy's really fast. Jerk. Came out of nowhere. So yeah, bare minimum, 94 jiggies and 810 notes just to reach the ending. But if you do collect all the notes, you have access to these doors. Phew! What a disgusting smell. Ooh, visitors for Dingpot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Ah, what does strange birdie thing mean? Uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? Oh, I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier on. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just splash on in and I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there. No way, dung box. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peck at the witch's butt. Let's go. Alright, but before we do that, let's open up these doors. So if you're able to collect all the notes... You unlock infinite amounts of your items, or a refill. I think it's actually a refill. It's either a refill or infinite amount. I'm pretty sure it's a full refill. So we get a refill on eggs, get a refill on golden feathers, and we get a refill on uh, an empty void. Actually, I don't even know what's in here. Actually, what is this? Only six notes. We get a... Oh, we get double health. Right, yeah. If you have four extra notes, you get double health. That's cute. And then the final note door. Red feathers. Beautiful. Alright, sorry about that little cut. It's time to finally face Gruntilda. Let's go. Hello. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle test your skill and might. Alright, Gruntilda, the real boss. Actually, is this infinite? No, it's not. The real boss of uh, Banjo-Kazooie. The only true boss... So you want to count the box. 
She has a variety of different attacks, but she is a really good final boss. Ooh. She'll dive back and forth after you, and then she'll throw some fireballs. Make sure you dodge out of the way. But luckily I have double health. Oh god. Ow. That's a big hitbox. I didn't think her hitbox would be that big. <laughs> Whoa! Probably better off using the uh, Talon Trot for most of this. Probably should do that. I can dodge way quicker. Yik. Oh, broomstick's out of action. There we go. Here's my magnet spell at last. Run and hide, you won't get past. And in this spell, this green spell, you cannot dodge it, so you have to use the Golden Feathers to block the attack. Alright, and now she's going to be out of bounds and throwing fireballs at you. So now, what you want to do is spit eggs at her. I think it's only three in each spot. Alright, I'm slow at this lard. That egg of yours caught my leg, or whatever she said. I don't know. I didn't read it in time. Whoa. Got her. Forgot to duck, so Bandra's useless head is struck. Yeah, 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 you're fat, and you smell. Okay, hit her once. If I could just aim the right way, that'd be great. Ow. Don't fall off. Falling off would suck. There's a break in between. I think she'll throw like three. Or four. Ow. Good. I don't think you can actually hit her from there. You can't. If I could just aim, that'd be great. Oh god, I'm bad at this boss fight. Alright, here we go. Fronty, why can't you be fatter? I can hit you easier. It's actually not too hard, I just, I just suck. Camera angle's not right. Got her. Good. Now I'm off into the air, leaving Banjo stuck way down there. Don't do that. Not bad so far, Banjo. Now use your aerial skills against the old buzzard with this flight pad. Give him some health back. Here we go. Take it to the skies. And not fly into her like that. What you want to do is you want to fly into her, but at super speed, punk! Ow! That beat gave me a jolt. So you can have this lightning bolt. You fool, that's fire! Jump boom! Nice. Ooh, careful. Yeah. Oh, I missed. You know, maybe those Cheeto codes would have been helpful. That's for the red feathers. I didn't even find the red feather one. Or did I? No, I did. Oh, God. Still bad with diving in the shit. Boink! Don't even try it with me. No! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, I died. That sucks. Um, yeah, if you die, I accidentally fell off the side. Crap. Um, I will... <laughs> I'll cut back to where I was, because I don't want you to watch the whole thing again. 
because you really, nobody really wants to watch it again. So I'll cut back to where I was before. Okay, finally back to this part. Took longer than I thought it would. Easy dive. Should be careful when using the dive. I want to just dive down low and just knock my face down. I don't really want to do that. So if I could just whack her. Oh, I missed how. Oh, this is going to be like when I'm fighting Sir Slush. It's just going to be the same thing. I'm just going to miss entirely. Boink. I have this bolt I'm speeding up. Always too close. I get a good distance away. Alright. Oh god. Oh, I'm glad she <laughs> went right into me, because I would have missed. I don't know. Alright, come here, Grunty. Boom! Alright, got her. Alright, one more hit. Oh, I missed! Oh, I missed again. Ah. Uh. Oh, man. I don't want to hit the side. I'm always bad at the dives. I'm always bad at the dives. This is the hardest part of the fight for me. I'm trying to dive in. No, she stopped, but she stopped too soon. I'm so bad at this part. I don't know why. No! I'm gonna run out of feathers. I just need to hit her once. Got her! Jesus. No, one more time. No, that's it. Look at me! I'm quite a mess. I need a shield to hide my dress. Ow. Not really want to run into you there. Well, that's it for the, uh... For that. For sending us free, we Jinjos come to help friend Banjo. I hit you well for being bad. Don't help this bear. You'll make me mad. Ah, uh, we gotta save. Or, we got our Jinjo friends. Gotta feed him some eggs. <laughs> Jinjo! This is why we locked. This is why Grunty locked it in his up. Hey, that Jinjo really hurt. I'll now rub you in the dirt. Yeah, I like to see you try. Ow. Ow. Very accurate, those shots. Keep the pressure on. Ow. Ow. Don't hurt me again. Got her. That last shot I failed to stop. Step down onto the ground, I'll drop. I got X. I can't see. Get that health bar out of the way. Fuck that. I am the mighty Ginginator. Activate me. I really think you ought to run when I beat him and spoil your fun. Oh, 
Ugh. Can't fucking aim. I can't aim. I really can't aim into the fucking stupid hole. Oh, I'm so screwed. I think it's only one in a hole. <laughs> Careful. Just keep dodging. Okay. Just keep dodging. Dodging weave, dodging weave, dodging. <gasps> no, I got hit by the blast of the fire! Oh, that sucks. Crap. Damn it, that sucks. Well, time to redo it again. Alright. Finally back here. I actually died twice trying to get back here. The problem I'm facing is that you have to shoot three eggs. But the problem the problem I'm facing is is my controller, because I'm using the Brawler 64. I'm trying to get an accurate shot with this thing is a nightmare. So that's three. Because this has like those little notched things on the side of the uh, thing. You can probably hear it. And it makes it really hard to land a perfect shot. Alright, there we go. Once it closes up, you know it's good. And this one did not close. So why would it? Still not closed. There we go. There we go. Now it's closed. I don't know if each one takes a different amount. I have to like line it up perfectly. Ow. closed. Come on, no! Come on. Yes! Yes, finally! Oh my god. I've been here for a while doing this. But here we go, the mighty Gingenator. It is done. It is here. It will destroy souls. The power to stop Gruntilda is on the Jinjo. I could take these shots all day. There's no way I'm going to sway. set to fall. Upon the spell, I'll now call. You missed, woman. <laughs> I'm just like, Jinjo. She falls to our doom. 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 And big old rock falls on her. Uh, too heavy. Grunty's fate, this should not be. So hurry, Klungo, rescue me. Hello, Jinjo. Oh, <laughs> Wah hey. oh, dude, look at those melons. Can I have some? 
Look at, the, look at those melons. Ah, this is great. Have we finished now, Duty? Can I relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazooie are heroes now. Did you hear that, Shorty? I'm a hero. Hmm, yes. I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie. Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. Oh boy, the cast. Can we see this already? Oh no, new characters. We got Dinkpot. I was just going over all the stuff. Klungo! Klungo's in like one cutscene. <laughs> Topper! Now I can figure all these weird enemy names. This is like Pikmin. This is like the end of Pikmin. It's all coming together. Pikmin and Banjo Kazooie are one. Ball. Collie Wobble. All these weird enemy names. Quarry. Not really much of an enemy because it doesn't do anything. Gruntling. Yeah, I remember him hitting me like four times. Ticker. Big Butt. <laughs> His name's Big Butt? Why? Grublin. So as we're seeing these enemy names, Leaky, and all the other characters that we didn't bother seeing. Lockup. Evil chest. Little lockup. Yum yum. Oh yum yum. All the enemies. Snippet. Snippet. Snippet she. Snippet do. Shay. Shrapnel. Yes, that's a shrapnel. Sure is. Well, you know, I don't really have to read off all the enemy names. You can see what it is. So, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just do like a closing statement now. Even though it's not going to be this end just yet. But, uh, I had a lot of fun playing through Banjo Kazooie. You know, playing through it all again. Except for, you know, Rusty Bucket Bay, that was kind of a low point for me. Um, I, I liked playing through Banjo-Kazooie. It's a very fun game, very fun to play. There are a couple issues I have with it, but most of the issues are fixed in the Xbox version. Also, I probably would have done the final boss a little bit better, but, you know, I'm using the Brawler 64 controller, which has those little notched things by the analog, so I made it a little bit harder to aim my eggs properly. I do have a normal controller. I probably should have used that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. Like how much I enjoyed it. I like playing through it. I like commentating over the game. Banjo Tui will probably come sometime in the future. Kind of like Pikmin 2. I'll probably hold off on it for a little while. So I've done I've done a lot of Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tui is going to be a much bigger project. Because there's just a lot more to do in that game. Same with Pikmin 2. Um, bringing that up. They're both bigger games. So they're probably going to be much longer games. Much longer Let's Plays. But I uh, hope this will suffice for now. I do still want to finish. Why is his name Chinker? That's not a good name. That's not a good name for an ice cube. But anyway. I'll probably think of something else to Let's Play. I don't know what exactly... I'll probably come up with something. I might do like another small let's play. Who knows? But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the whole let's play. I've been on and off with this game for a while. I've been recording multiple episodes in a day. Sometimes just two a day. I think the the Rusty Bucket Bay episode. I was in that. I, that was all in just one day. Because I just got so annoyed I didn't want to play anymore. And then Click Clock Wood up till now was all one day. It took me a few hours to get through that. <laughs> it's 12.30 at night. So. I've been here. I've been here for a while. Kind of tired. 
but this is on this is April 15th which this probably this is not gonna go up on April 15th it's probably be up way later than that but yeah I concluded this on April 15th it didn't take me too long to play through the game didn't get stuck that much but if you really want to know my final thoughts, yes, this is a great platforming game. It's a very, very basic platforming game. Not, I wouldn't say basic, but it is a nice platform game. It's got a nice style to it. I do like the enemies. I like the dialogue. I like, I like the worlds you go into. Except Rusty Bucket Bay. That one can go screw itself. But I like all the little characters you meet. I like all these enemies. Everything's nice. Banjo Tooie expands on all that, so that'll be fun to go through. It will take a long time to get through Banjo-Tooie, though, because there's just so there's so much to do in Banjo-Tooie. There's a crap load of things to do in that game. So if you're not one of the uh, big gaming adventure types, that's probably not a game for you. It's more of like an adventure type kind of game. It's still like a collect-a-thon, kind of. Well, it is a collect-a-thon, but it's a lot bigger. It's huge. Cheeto. Oh, here we go. Now time for the, uh... Disappointing ending, I will say. <laughs> you get this if you collect everything, by the way. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Nice one, Bone Brain. What's on them? Got the pictures of things you missed. Secrets used in next game. Sure. Ooh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game. Great. So let's see the pictures then, Skirt Boy. Did you get all 100 Jigsaw pieces? We sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secrets, Mask Midget. Pictures show things you missed. Secrets that are for new game. Banjo-Tooie. I guess this is also a surprise to Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie? Sounds great. Is it any good? Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. Hey. Why isn't it called Banjo Kazooie Tui? I'd better be in it too. Short stuff. Banjo Tui, make Banjo Kazooie. Look like joke. Mumbo show you pictures of stuff. Can use new game. Here. Fine, first secret on the beach. Hey, Shorty. How did you make that rock rise up? Her, her, Mumbo not telling. Yeah, so... Inside of all these, you could probably guess what's inside. It's the stop and swap eggs. They're all inside of these hidden places Mumbo's gonna show you. And like I said before in the Freeze Easy Peak episode, stop and swap is didn't happen so all these items that you can find I think you do have access to them now since I since you do have 100% or they're just locked behind everything forever I don't think so I think the ice key is just stuck behind everything forever but there's multiple places you can go it's in treasure trove cove Gobi's valley that strange door where I hit Gobi the final time to get that honeycomb piece there's one there And then there's a uh, ice key. There's multiple eggs you can find. Yeah. Next secret found in snow. It was this cave. Yep. All this stuff that's just not gonna happen. Well, it kind of did years later, many years later. But just to think, in 1998, you saw this. You're like, oh, cool. How how do I transport this stuff over to the next game? And I have this cool thing. But, uh, yeah, it didn't happen. I could collect 
the stuff. I don't even know if I can actually access the stuff. And then, of course, the one in front of Gobi. Where that was. I think there's only three hidden spots. There could be more. I don't remember. Yeah, what are the eggs and keys for? Tell us, Mumbo! We'll find out in the future. But yeah, this is... Your 100% reward is these eggs, which don't mean anything anymore. Wow. How do we get to those? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo Tui. Yeah, 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 whatever. They are in Banjo Tui, they're just not. You can't just transfer them from Banjo Kazooie. Which kind of sucks. But I hope you guys enjoyed Banjo Kazooie. I hope you enjoyed the journey. And that's all. <laughs> Rock's so heavy, but Klungo must rescue Mistress. Yeah. Try. Well, the jiggies you did snatch. But I'll be back for my rematch. The end. And this concludes our journey through Banjo Kazooie, as I've said before, like five times. Thanks for watching. <laughs>